Well, that was a pretty dramatic intro, wasn't it? I'm Dr. Nathan Way, and today I'm going to be talking about CPPD, also known as pseudogout. And CPPD is the Rodney Dangerfield of arthritis. It does not get respect. CPPD is due to crystals of calcium pyrophosphate, and these crystals of pyro calcium pyrophosphate tend to deposit out in joint tissue like this. And you can see these areas of very subtle calcification inside the menisci, the cartilage cushions of knee joints. These don't belong there. And CPBT attacks joints like the shoulders, the wrists, the hips, the knees, and many other joints. The problem with CPPD is that it can look like rheumatoid arthritis and be a diagnostic dilemma. It's also associated with many diseases including thyroid disease, parathyroid disease, diabetes, gout, hemochromatosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and many others. The treatment for this condition involves use of oral medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs as they're sometimes called and disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Drugs like Plaquenil and Methotrexate are sometimes used in patients with very severe CPPD because we really have no other medicines that are really truly effective. We'll occasionally use steroid injections and visco supplements, these are lubricants, but eventually many patients with CPPD go on to have to have surgery. For more information about CPPD, contact us at the Arthritis Treatment Center, 71 Thomas Johnson Drive, Frederick, Maryland, 21702. Our phone number is 301-694-5800, and you can reach us on the web at www.arthritistreatmentcenter.com. Thanks for watching.